Well, howdy everyone. Today I'm going to be planting a bunch of alfalfa. Most people grow it as sprouts, but I want to uh, try it out as a uh, microgreen. So I have a tray here filled with a cocoa mat and it's been filled with water. It's been soaking oh, for about half hour or so. It should be plenty wet. So what I'm going to do I'm going to drain the water out and then I'm going to plant the seeds and cover them. So what I'm using here is a double tray. There's a tray with holes in it on top that holds the, the cocoa plant mat. And then there's a solid tray underneath that catches any runoff. So that's the way you want to set your trays up. You want a slotted one on top and then you want a solid one underneath to catch any runoff. Okay, so I have a bucket on the side. Hopefully I can drain this tray without spilling a whole lot of water. We'll see. It's pretty heavy actually. Actually, I did spill a little bit, but I got most of it in the bucket. So now I'm going to take these alfalfa seeds and spread them out on top of the mat. The mat is looks like it's a teeny bit bigger than the uh, container but I don't think it'll matter much so we want to spread these out pretty heavy because you don't really uh, want a whole lot of space left in the tray instead you want a lot of plants so we'll just keep spreading them try to get them as even as possible not always possible but uh, got a bit here so I think they're spread out pretty good so at this point I'm gonna I'm going to close the bag because I don't want to spill these seeds and I have underneath here I have another tray a third one and what I'm going to do with this I'm going to put it on top so before you put the co this put a cover on these, you want to mist them. So that they have enough moisture to germinate. Then place a cover on top. And you're good to go. Just so that way the moisture stays in, the seeds are in the dark, and I'll check it every few days uh, to see, you know, they should sprout in, in, I don't know, maybe three days, maybe five, but they should sprout pretty fast, and then uh, we'll take that off, that top off, and we'll be off to the races. Now, I do want to let you know you do need a good light because these things need to grow really fast and they need a lot of light so uh, get yourself a good LED light or you can use uh, like a shop light if you keep it really close to them you know like maybe six inches away 
but you want to get them off to a good start with light because if you don't they're just going to get leggy and you really want to grow leaves and not just stems so they need enough light to get started um, this is a great project for anybody with a little bit of space on a countertop um, it's easy they grow fast and they're very nutritious so I really recommend trying to grow microgreens at home and I like the uh, the cocoa grow mats because they're clean you don't have any loose soil getting all over um, and another advantage is if you're going to grow them commercially a lot of commercial growers just cut the mat and put it in containers and ship that way that way the greens stay fresher for longer and you could do the same thing you could cut a section out put it in a container put it in your fridge leave it in the mat that way you don't have to cut the plants off at the soil line but you can do it either way but uh, I like the mats a lot. I find them to be very easy to handle. And when you're done, you just compost the mat or, you know, whatever. But you don't have all that loose soil to get rid of. So I really prefer this to using loose cocoa core or potting soil. It's just easier. Uh, it's cleaner and uh, it's easier to get rid of when you're done. All right, well, listen, that's it. Take good care of yourselves. Happy gardening. Don't forget, stay green. All right, see you all later. Bye-bye.